Yeah, I didn't sleep at all last night. I laid down around seven, got back up at nine. Oh my gosh, you took a nap this morning. Yeah. How do you? What are you doing? Like when you can't sleep and it's like four in the morning, five in the morning. What do you do? You just accept your fate. <laughs> you just be on your phone. I'll be trying to watch old movies and stuff. Like I watched Starship, Starship Troopers last night. Uh, trying to put up, trying to put yourself to sleep. Yeah, watch Twister on Netflix. Them movies don't even go together. I know. <laughs> I watched something else on on HBO, but I can't I can't remember what it was. But yeah, they don't. I just I don't know, man. I ain't been sleeping good since the whole quarantine started. I think it's like a mixture. Of, I tell a friend, I think it's a mixture of. Uh, not feeling productive, even though I know I've been productive, mm-hmm. but like it's just not That's been crazy. That you no still, yeah. you're doing all that work and you still feel like that ain't enough. It's in a traditional sense because I'm used to moving around with the work and, right. and traveling. And so now that I, what is, what well, did you niggas plan this? What is up with the hats? What I've been doing the dumb hats for at least Kev, a month. Yeah. Kev, Kev does dumb hats. I, I did one too. <laughs> is that adventure time? Yeah, I, I'm going through all my college stuff. And I found my Adventure Time hat. Patrick is like the little brother. And normally, like, when your little brother does something like you to annoy you, you be like, man, get the fuck out of here. But you was just like, yeah, man, it's my little brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's Adventure I'd Time hat. Going to ga- I'd be purposely going to gas stations and stuff in, in, in CVS to see what they got. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> you, you keep buying all this stuff. And then in two years, you're going to be like, I buy the most random stuff. I was going through my clothes and I found all this stuff. Oh, I throw them away after like two wears. I like how the CVS workers all think that you just have terrible style. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, I know that guy. <laughs> Old dumb hat Kev. <laughs> Old dumb hat Kev. <laughs> yeah, what you just order? I just got some mail. Oh, I got a little thing. Got a little package. Stuff. Got a little package too. That's what the lady say. You guys ready for an unboxing? Finally. Is that the watch? That's that new electric tampon that cleans itself. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this is? It's the said. end of this damn mustache. I'm so tired. Really? You, Did you lose the your trimmer? I, lo- I lost the charger of my, my hair trimmer. And now my mustache is, is so bushy that you know, like when you get like a little hair in your in your mouth and you try yeah. to like take it out, I yeah, I yeah. keep doing that and I take it out and it's still attached to my 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 skin. <laughs> it's just like it's just like a bunch of hairs that like tickle my nose and sit in oh, my mouth. Oh, Pat, I don't. I didn't mean to ask you. How do you do it, bro? When when my mustache starts to tickle my nose, I be I be losing it. Oh, it yeah. is. It's so uncomfortable. You gonna, do it, right, you gonna do it right now on camera, Pat? We on camera, we recording. You gonna do it right now? What? Shave it. No, I'm not in a bathroom. I don't want little hairs everywhere. This is, it's bad. Like, it's probably going to look like I shaved my pubes. You be yeah. juice and, and water in your beard, Pat? You said what? When you finish drinking, do you be having, like, water and stuff in your beard? I feel homeless. <laughs> I feel homeless when they, you do not look dumber <laughs> than having food on your face. That's the yeah. worst. Like what did I eat yesterday? You, you do look like your beard really be catching all kind of sauces. And oh food. my I god! Be, bro, I be eating waffles and stuff. I be having syrup in my beard. I be feeling like a dog on savage. It's, it's I ate. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I ate a, a a chicken pita yesterday with hummus, and I don't know what it, what it is about hummus, but like <laughs> for some reason, like when hummus is in your beard, I just feel like you should start screaming, just like ah ah ah. <laughs> you just get like so like fucking wild. <laughs> like, a whole lot going work. on. Oh, you, got, you got the facial hair of a nigga named Sebastian right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> Who me? Yeah. All oh, of that going on. I'm just, I'm just like, yeah, That's I'm gonna be clean hilarious. shaven today. Later today. You got a lot going on, my boy. I'm so happy. I'm about to charge this thing right now. We don't have a fifth person today, Hunter here. Yeah, we do. Tony Baker's supposed to pull up. Tony? What? Yeah, man. He never I was boycotting this show. Nah, man. He, he he said he was doing he was blo- he was blocking it at first because he wasn't getting paid. Really? <laughs> yeah, <it makes> sense. <laughs> but 
but he's back. Tony grumpy. Tony is grumpy, and he's been getting grumpier as the days go by. <laughs> that's how age works, man. man that's stage, that stage recharges people. Oh, I'm not my. I'm I'm so wor- I'm I'm gonna need like. You know, like the NBA has to go to preseason. Yeah, I need some tune-up show. I, I'm out here naked. I don't yeah. even. I, I have just got my set good. I, I just have, got it. I have to host today at the Laugh Factory, not just perform. I have to host like in person a live show with nobody in the audience, and I got to figure out how to bring the energy. And I haven't been asleep. How do you manage energy when there's no people to give you energy? You got to yeah. trust the material, man. You got to know that you funny and the material is funny. He's yeah, but ladies, like, make some noise. <laughs> there's times where you tell a joke and people laugh. That's not going to happen. I know. And here's the thing. You know, you know, as a comedian, we got that one little trick where we try to get them back on our side. We're like, yeah, Sagittarius, make some noise. I can't even do that. <laughs> That's hilarious. I can't even do ladies make some noise. And they... You can't even do your, your normal transitions. You can't even talk about the tipping the bartenders and shit. Uh, literally nothing. I'ma just do it. I'ma just do it. And just, I'm like, all right, all right, ladies make some noise. Huh? Yeah, I see the hearts. I see the hearts going up. Make sure you take care of your bartenders at home. You know what I'm saying? Take care of yourself. Tip yourself. <laughs> That's super weird. Yeah. That's super weird. I'm gonna try the space joke today, Kev. Oh man, I can't wait to see how that how that turns out. Me too, especially in front of not of an audience. <laughs> if you if you bomb, it doesn't count because you didn't have nobody there. Nothing counts. The quarantine stuff doesn't count. No, that's oh. the messed up part. He's gonna. It's like a hundred percent chance he's gonna bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Because even if they're dying at home, he won't ever get that. Yeah, I won't ever know. It, it was like a couple of people hit me up after my last set at the Laugh Factory. It was like, yo, you were really funny. You know, I can't wait to see you live in person. We'll do all of that. But it's like, yeah, instant gratification. You get none of that right now on stage. None of that. So That's funny. That's literally like not laughing at a joke in person and then being like, yo, you were hilarious. Like, yeah. bro, where was the laughs? That happened. <laughs> like, if you told jokes with audience and you had a 15 second delay before they got it, like, oh man, <laughs> oh, that ruins That's everything. Terrible, man. That's what it's like on on live. Yeah, I just I take I take small pauses to like let the laughter happen at home and hope that it's happening at home. But you know, you That's don't hilarious. Really know. That's hilarious. Laughter, laughter is contagious, man. So like when you're in that space, like <sighs> it's easier for people to feel comfortable laughing. But when you're at home and you just like bust out laughing, don't nobody know why? You like you're a little more guarded. So I feel like that's why know. I've been avoiding the live comedy things. I, I just I just pretend that I'd be like, I can't do that. I don't know how bye. <laughs> <laughs> I just I, I it just seems like a disaster waiting to happen. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's listen. If you're not, com- I'm gonna have to say fifty hail marys before I go up. Because if you're not confident in it, you will you will die on that stage. You understand me? That silence is worse than getting booed. Because at yeah. least the boo, they have made up their mind that they don't like you. With the silence, you don't even know if you're killing or you are just you are just ruining your life and chances of everything. Yeah, I would say boo is a lot worse. I don't know, man. <laughs> I I feel like you would rather not know than know a hundred percent that they don't like you. No, <laughs> boo is like no. As an I artist, I, I prefer I prefer people make up their mind. Like I prefer that they have some type of feeling about me. Either you like me, uh, or you love me, or you you don't like it. Like if people like ever leave my show and they just and people ask them how was it, you just be like eh, eh. like I don't want that ever. So I would, if, I would if you get booed, you have a good story. If you if you get nothing, it's just like yeah, this one time I was I was doing stand up and I got nothing. How'd it go? I got, I got nothing. <laughs> I don't That's know a really how. sad answer to that question. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, it's like, bro, I bombed my life away. I died. It was, it was terrible. You hear me? It was terrible. Anyway. That's, right? that's literally turning the L into a lesson because if you could take that bomb story and turn it into a joke, it's, it, it was worth it, right? Yeah. Like with being silent, ugh, you just be like, I hope, I hope they think I'm funny or like my outfit. <laughs> <laughs> literally have to be killed in your head. Yeah. That's funny. That's all I'm hoping for. I was like, and I hope they like my outfit at least. <laughs> you pa- you pausing for the laugh breaks is going to be the funniest part of this, by the way. 
It's <laughs> like, yeah, I'll let you finish. I'll let you finish at home. I was just going to tell him, I was like, hey, I'm going to laugh with you where, you where you should be laughing. <laughs> well, that's cool, because at least it's like you're watching somebody have a good time, even if you don't think he's right. funny. He's cracking oh, himself up. <laughs> Hey, Tony, Tony Baker you? on time too. Long okay. you, Tony. I stay on time, man. Punctual you lying, man. So I man. stay on time. Punctual Tony. You ain't yeah. never met Martin Luther King. <laughs> <laughs> you, ain't lie. you ain't never met Martin Luther King. Bro, that scene was utter chaos, man. It was so funny. Well, you said Martin Luther King punched him in the chest. Who's next? <laughs> Can you imagine Martin Luther King punching you in the chest? <laughs> Just, <laughs> I, 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 it's me. He's like, oh, my bad. I thought it was somebody else. He probably got a strong left. I feel like he has more of a left. He had civil rights strength. You know he had the he had that he had the strong right hand. Yeah. <laughs> Man, why are you out here looking like Rosie the Riveter? What are you doing? Because I'm here, cute. We can do it. We can support World War II. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious, this girl. <laughs> oh, was it this way? Yeah, I think it was this way. We can yeah. do it. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he said that with the mom authority, and Kim's just like, "Ah, right, you right, you right." You know what's that? He's saying that so so hard. What? Shut up. How are our new uh, contestants, Tony and Meg? How, how's it going, guys? How's your weekend? Man, just try to stay alive, you know. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, <laughs> that's hey, that ain't just on the weekend. Yeah. That's a small talk answer. You know, <laughs> trying to stay alive. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the yeah. answers you have queued up for anybody. Right. <laughs> Your autopilots. <laughs> autopilot answer all day. <laughs> You know, just trying to stay alive. One day after the other. Yesterday was yesterday. Tomorrow's tomorrow. <laughs> hey, Tony, did you walk today? I just got back. How, how long? Uh, uh, I don't know why I'm fascinated with Tony's walking schedule. I walked one today. I did a shorter one because I had to do this stupid squad cast. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? You didn't miss us at all. <laughs> Here's the thing about Tony, man. Tony got on me one time because he had he had texted me about a protest, and I was like, "Cool," like because Kev had already told me about this protest happening, so I was aware of it. So I, I forgot to like just hit the like button or, or something, right? And so I hit him about. Something like right now, right after that, and he was like, "Oh, but you didn't see my text about the protest. You can't say nothing about the protest." And I was That's like, real. Hey, bro, I, 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 I acknowledge it, and you know, I just said I was gonna pull up." Right? I was like, "I already planned on coming because Kev had told me about it." Yeah, all right. I will text Tony, and it's silence. But then I see him on Instagram. He's on yeah. Twitter. He's all Tony on worse than me. And then here's the thing: he I is. text Tony. He didn't respond to me, but he's in the group chat. Chatting it up, just chit chatting it up. Yeah, you do do that, Tony. You got that real bad. Chatting it up, but he wouldn't respond. I had to hit him with it. I had to hit him with the eyeball emoji. Then I felt like I was thirsty, like Tony. I know you saw the eyeball emoji. You hear me with the eyeball emoji? The side eyes. I responded to you this morning about doing this. And then I said, "You asked what time?" I said, "No." And then you went to the group chat. And you was like, bloom, bloom, bloom. Responding to it ain't saying agreeing, Tony. That's, you didn't say, ah, right, yeah. I right. had to hit you with the eyes. And you was like, oh, yeah, I'm down. I, like, hey. I hate getting hit with the eyes. Like, well, here, your voice for Tony is funny. Tony's text voice to you is hilarious. I hate it, man. <laughs> I hate it, man. Oh, so you here, you are like a like texter, though. So don't nobody want to hear this from you. <laughs> you say what? Yeah. You're, you're you a horrible how am I a horrible texter? You just trash, bro. You just be disappearing, coming in and out. You do. You're trash in the group chat. You don't. You don't hold your weight at all. I, 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 I I've already addressed this. I speak when I need to. If I don't have something to say or something, that's what I do to hear. Listen, I asked your Tony, question, Tony. No, Tony, don't even say that. That's a lie, Tony. I have been trying to reach out to you to get you paid for some stuff, and you supposed to respond. You ain't responded in years. That's why Tony wasn't at to hear his birthday party because he don't respond to texts. That is true. <laughs> I didn't have her number saved, so I didn't know who that was. 
Mm. But if they <laughs> say to hear surprise birthday party, I can't read. I keep telling y'all this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that's fair. I can't <laughs> read. That's I've fair. Lie this whole time. Y'all need to understand. That's why he, you see him on Instagram, but he's not responding to texts. He's like, what the hell? <laughs> he's doing all his captions. All his texts. <laughs> that man just went and said, I can't read. I can't read. Matter of fact, what is it called when you're like blind, assisted texting, or what is it called? Yeah. That's what you use. You turn that on on your phone, Tony? <laughs> Here, here's, here's why I just be lollygagging on the payment plan. I hate invoices. Tony, <laughs> invoices <laughs> get you paid. Invoicing people means your money is coming. You get, don't invoice, you don't get no money. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm with Tony. I hate it. Just okay, just, but it, no one likes to invoice y'all. Y'all act like it's a fun thing that people like to do. Send it. Just never mind. I don't. Just I don't. Never mind. Never well, maybe y'all not broke like the rest of us that need. Obviously not, Megan. Obviously. Obviously. So why don't you? I'm gonna just invoice for y'all and take y'all money. How about that? Since you don't want it. Oh, give me 20% of what I'm doing. I'll be happy. If I don't have to do the invoices, I'll be like, all right. That's what I'll do for y'all. From now on, I'll invoice for y'all, and I'm taking 30%. No, just 30%. take... Who are you, YouTube? <laughs> take 40% and you got a deal. 50%. 40 it is. 10, Meg, for me. <laughs> Kev's deal ain't my deal. Give me the 10. <laughs> why was Kev going up? I don't know why was going up. <laughs> I'm a terrible negotiator. I, I don't yeah. know. I just, yeah. I'll give you 80%, Meg, and that's what Okay, fine. I'll take it. Wait, Kev started with 20%, and Meg was like 30. She said, 40, you got a deal. <laughs> this is a cartoon? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Listen, I'll be having checks. People give me checks, and, and i just be having them on my dresser like, ah. That is the life, okay? I got to deposit it. It's a whole thing. I you check. don't even have to go nowhere to deposit. You, you can literally mobile. just take the I'll picture on your app. I'll go to the bank. Once the check is in the mail, yes. I'll, I'll stroll over because I'll be walking anyway. Walk you over. walk to the bank? It's right. I mean, I you can't. Oh, Tony. You see, you the book, you had a vow. Now, those residual checks, where they be like $5. Oh, that's me. I got <laughs> mobile deposit all day. I got a tank. I got a uh, check on my oh, white boy right now for $4. What? Hold on, Tom. It looks like he is in the military and he has a tank on the way. But I got a check on my white boy for $4. Hmm? I check on my white boy. You got a tank nine? <laughs> a tank wasn't even close to check. A tank was nowhere near check. No, I got a traveler's tank. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, that makes you hear a lot. You got a tank on the people you care about. You know, <laughs> you know what? We need a reality <laughs> tank. We don't have good tanks and balances. That's what's wrong with our society. To hear as a tank. You came to see, to hear more, you better look at <laughs> that, that was so funny when you did I, that to hear. I took right over that. <laughs> That video, I was like, to hear more, you better look. <laughs> no. I had a lot of people like, I didn't even know that you could turn on notifications. I was like, all right, cool. I'm gonna post it again in a month. Look at who you came to see. <laughs> to hear more, you better turn the notifications on. <laughs> hey, this is this is probably a dumb question, but Tony, did you make that song up or is that a song? I made that one up. You made that song up? Oh, thank God. I thought you were about to be like, Pat, don't know. Oh, I, I asked him that same question. I was like, man, it sounds like a song that Michael McDonald sang, but I never heard it. <laughs> I thought Tony was going to be like, it's the Four Tops. You don't know really. Stevie thing. Wonder Four song, tops. Pat. Huh? You didn't know it was a Stevie Wonder song. What was? Mm -mm. Look at who you came to see. Oh, so that is a song. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, no, just... Oh. <laughs> Y'all don't mess with Pat. You know he don't know stuff. I don't. Don't know. I'm gullible. Everything is brand new to Pat. What is that on your head, Pat? It's my hat. It's a fin hat. <laughs> oh, adventure time! From Adventure. Oh, yeah. You got too much hair. Oh, oh adventure time. time. Mm -hmm. That's a good show. It, it works better when you, you, have, you don't have hair. Yo, send me the link so I can post this on my... Uh, you know what I'm saying? We're not live, man. This is recording. We're not doing live? Nah, not on Squadcast, bro. Okay.
Go to it. But this is a good time to go ahead and jump right into the first topic right after this. Now, listen, we all shop online. You found all the things that you want. You head to the checkout, and then you see that box there. That box that says promo code. And you be like, where? Where are everybody getting these promos and these coupons from? How come nobody has told me about it or emailed me and, and sent me something to get 10, 15, 20% off? I want some of that percentage off. What's going on with it? Well, thanks to Honey, you no longer have to search manually for coupons. Honey is a free browser extension that finds you promo codes just for you and automatically applies them to your cart. So just, 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 just imagine, let's say that you're shopping online at Target, right? And then when you get to the checkout, the Honey button drops down and all you have to do is click Apply Coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey scans the database, all of the working coupons on that site, and then watch the prices drop. Now we've all seen the memes about Target. You go to Target, you're, you're expecting just to spend $20 and then 30 minutes later, you spent $486.19. You'd be like, how? How does this happen? Well, it won't happen anymore with Honey. And I do all my shopping at Target. I'm talking toilet tissue, paper towels, socks, tank tops, T-shirts, the graphic tee. Come on, let's not act like the graphic tees at Target don't be slapping. Because you know they do. Now, I'm going to tell you for real. Just on candles, because y'all know how I feel about my candles. Just on candles, toilet tissue, paper towels, and socks. I say $12, okay? Now, you might be thinking $12 ain't a lot. Let somebody ask you for $12 out of the blue. You might, like, who you talking to? I ain't got no $12 for you. Every little bit counts, and I'll take every part of that $12. Now, listen to this. Honey has found its over 17 million members over $2 billion in saving coupons. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of people saving a lot of money. And they partner with some of your favorite stores, over 30,000 stores. I'm talking Target, Walmart, Forever 21, DoorDash. Listen, what you waiting on? If you don't already have honey, you could be missing out on money. Free money, money that you get to keep. Come on, what, what are y'all doing? It's free, okay? It installs in seconds and it saves you money. I don't, I don't understand what else you need to know about that. And by getting Honey, you'll be doing yourself a solid and you'll be helping out the podcast. Again, it's free. It installs in seconds on your browser. It's just an extension that saves you money. All you have to do right now is go to joinhoney.com slash squad. Again, joinhoney.com slash S-Q-U-A-D-D. People, get your money. Keep your money. Get you some honey. First topic of the day we have, what's worse, a messy roommate versus a smelly roommate? Uh, I have questions. Let's go, if my boy. You messy, you smelly. You said what? If you messy, you smelly. So no, I'm that's not true because Pat right, looks right. very messy when you look at him, but he don't really smell bad. I was trying to, I was trying to bail out, man. Uh, <laughs> I think it's the opposite. <laughs> I think if, if, if you smelly, you messy. Because ain't no smelly people have like a whole, like just like a completely clean, put together room and they just stink. Well, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Um, remember the dude from All Deaf, the dude who would wear the cutoff shirt? Why you, you don't have to t say that. Just say so y'all remember the dude. I know. I know. We know. But here's the who? thing. Here's the thing. His desk area was always clean. Yeah. Just, he, he smelled bad. So, I mean, that's that could true. be different just because it's his work area, but... How's a desk at work? It doesn't always equate to stinky, and stinky... Some people don't wear deodorant like that. Meg don't react wear deodorant like that. Oh, I man, do. You big musty on it? No, I'm not musty at all. <laughs> <laughs> you musty? I'm not mu First of all, some <laughs> of us are not that musty naturally, okay? For all y'all smelly people that need to wear deodorant every day, you That sounds like someone should. who doesn't know they stink. That sounds like... No, I'm very cognizant. Matter of fact, I was trying to create my own deodorant. Like, I've been researching and studying it. So, I just, just to let yeah, you know, different people right are now? different type of musty. You got deodorant on right now? Absolutely do. Show, us the, outside. Show us the deodorant ring. No <laughs> <laughs> us the residue. Smells good. Musty uh, scoop. Us. I'm not musty. Yeah, musty. I don't like stinky. <laughs> musty scoop. I don't like stuff that stinks. I'm very sensitive and cognizant of that. Your what? Deodorant is a cognizant. must. Man. No, it's not. I put 
no and when i put it on it'd be like i use a natural kind so like i put so much on that when it sweat like it'd be the little white string be like the little yeah. white dot just be str- going like this on my arm from the melted deodorant your natural deodorants is trash. They be running out of steam. There's only Absolutely. like like two of them. Oh, fast. You be like, why am I sweaty? I put man. As soon as you hit the block, you must. <laughs> because y'all don't understand, deodorant and antiperspirant are two different things. It's not the same thing. Antiperspirant makes you stop, uh, controls your sweat, right? And that, and most natural deodorants aren't antiperspirants because you're supposed to sweat. Like it's that's toxins coming out your body, so it doesn't keep you from sweating. It just makes sure you don't stink when you sweat. Oh. Some people, but some people don't want to sweat at all, so that's why they need to get an antiperspirant. Mm-hmm. I, don't oh. I don't want to sweat in the pits because it ruins my shirts. So what do you think you're gonna sweat at, Tony? They hit all up here, all up here is fine. When I'm sweating here, cool. Oh, you feel like Tony, you use Tussy. You know the one that you supposed to dip your yeah. hand in a jar and go like that. The okay. old school. That's the thing. <laughs> it just. <laughs> <laughs> but oh i used to use old spice but it start um didn't they like start coming out like a chemical burns it, like some of the- i used to get under i used to get burn on my underarms when i used old spice yeah oh, they there's like yeah. hella articles about it yeah i like, used the gels the gel the gel cologne i mean not colognes but deodorants never worked for me like i always had to use like the sticks like the white stick or something like that and i never used right. the blue ones either yeah i couldn't i couldn't White's use uncomfortable them. it's all clumpy but yeah. white works best for me, even though yeah, it's, me it's clothing. But it, it seems like it's the toughest one. Wait, wait, wait. I got it. All right. Deodorant came from people. No, the dude at work who was stinky. And that came from being unorganized. And that came from stinky people can't be messy. Or they can no. be messy. They can. Stinky people, neat people can be musty. Oh, right. OK. Okay, for sure. All right, but I think that smelly has to be way worse. If we're talking about the smelly where when they leave, it still smells like them. Oh, oh you're sit down here. That's oh. the what? You, can do. I, you know sit what? I feel like there. Pat just says that because he's the messy roommate. I'm mm-hmm. not messy. Especially with Pat, roommates. Like, show us the room you are currently in. That doesn't count. This is storage. <laughs> nah, it's not storage, Pat. You spent. Pat, your desk you, was you, messy. You, 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 don't say that. You was my a, house you sat across clean. from me every day. Your desk was so messy. Cluttered, not messy. <laughs> it's the what same thing. Cluttered and messy. Because I have a lot of stuff, a lot of random stuff. And it's, and it's just, not put in place, so that's messy. It's not. This is what the hoarders say when the people are like, but you can't get in. They're like, this, I know exactly where everything is. It is not dirty. <laughs> There's dead cats in the freezer. I know those are in there. I put them in there. They died. I put them in the freezer. I, I had time to stuff. bury them. I'm just trying to keep them fresh until I got time to bury them. I know the they really be walking around <laughs> being like, this is not even that bad. You have doo-doo in jar. <laughs> in There's not- always their breaking point where they're like, yeah, you can throw that away. Whoa, 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 wait, I might need that later, but I might need that later. <laughs> oh. I was watching one the other day. The dude had four-year-old Mountain Dew, and they were like, okay, well, we got to throw anything away that doesn't have sentimental value. And he was like, okay, let's throw the sodas away. He was like, these have sentimental value? We're like, what does a four-year-old Mountain Dew have? He was like, I feed it to squirrels. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? what? these squirrels in the community. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, they love it. I was like, how are you convincing a squirrel to drink a, a four-year-old Mountain Dew? And why is that sentimental? Right. How, <laughs> yeah, do, you what feed, are how do you that? feed a squirrel Mountain Dew anyway? Like it's Right. How are I've they never, stopping I've to drink never it? Seen like, squirrels drink anything. I've seen them eat, but I've never seen a squirrel just like take a swig in a mug. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They have small hands to here. They can't pick up a mug. <laughs> <Like this. laughs> the squirrels in his neighborhood were snowboarding and skateboarding and shit. And they were doing the do. <laughs> they were doing the do. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, I, I feel like if a, if a roommate is messy, but it is confined to their room, I, I, would, I would much prefer that. So the smell, it would definitely be worse. Because, oh, like, if, if the common area is kept up, in the kitchen and the living room and it's just their room and I never have a reason to go to their room. Long as it's not like a smell seeping out every time they go in and out, then I'm cool with that. Like just don't have the house nasty. You right. Plus uh, you can always use a, a spray. Oh sorry. Sorry, Tony. 
You're doing this as a cheat code to get out of this to hear. A messy roommate means it seeps into the living room and the kitchen. Yes. They're right. messy. It means it goes out of their goes out of their room into the common area. And that's the one thing that you you always think that like okay whoever's level of cleanliness is more that is the person technically responsible for cleaning the house like you it's not fair because it's like we both split a space we're both supposed to clean but like if you expect things to be cleaner then the onus falls on you and people don't realize your roommate doodled on himself and you had to clean it up so you have a messy roommate he doesn't bring nothing to the table he pees he's also a smelly roommate too because he pees Yep. Well, mess, messy ain't dirty though. <laughs> I said the messy, dirty boy. Messy is like having your laundry, you know, supposed to be folded and it's on on the couch. That right. Dirty so is messy. like having dirty laundry. Right. So messy in the kitchen would be like stuff is out, but it wouldn't be like food and stuff and like flies. We're not talking about that, right? No, nah, we're not talking. We're not talking trifling. We're just saying like messy. Like there's just stuff, stuff everywhere. You can't walk through the room. That's just everywhere. There's just a lot of I stuff. I can't stand this. Smelly roommate. In this case, they are clean. They just they as a person stink. I can't do that. Well, right. I don't know. Because here's the thing: if something stinks, you can always just put a Glade plug in or spray some spray, and then the smell's oh, you not. Can Meg? You can't. Do it, that. It, I like, mean, I been, on, well maybe because y'all live with guy, stinky it's guys the, before. It's the, it depends on what the stench is and where it's coming from. Like old food don't just cover up from from a Glade plug in. Like you got to clean that room, clean those bowls. The same thing with like dirty clothes. Like it only masks the funk, but only for so long. It still seeps through though. Mm, We're talking know. consistent stinkiness. If it's a smelly roommate, that means it's consistent and it's all the time. A smelly person will just ruin your attitude, man. Oh, it's not absolutely it's true. true. Actually, both of them will. But ruining your appetite, like you're like, man, like you're everybody here, your house is like dirty on one day. Like, man, I really got to clean up. But if it doesn't stink, that's one thing. If you like, you come downstairs and like there was something like spoiled in your trash and your house stinks, that yeah. is a way worse yeah. thing. And then, yeah. like having some laundry all over the place, and you need to yeah. unload the dishwasher. Like yeah. that stinking is is just terrible. Yeah, stinking is horrible, but like like being messy is still like very upsetting. So like if you work all day and your roommate doesn't, but you know because they maybe saved a little money, so they got that half of the rent, whatever. You okay, work all day. Whole and all of your roommate's life. You say what? You, you oh like, Lord, you your roommate gonna your old roommate gonna fight you. You know, he had half a sandwich, but there was no lettuce. So he just throws <laughs> a little bit maybe a little bit of tomato. And you know, he really likes sandwiches. He cuts them in the triangle way, but not the halfway. So anyway, he saved up. Like, we don't need the backstory on the hypothetical. This is a long way to not be funny. That's what it's like. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't I wasn't trying to be funny. I was just giving a, an example. You you did all of that in hopes for laugh, and we're just laughing at you, not with you. So shut that Wait, dumb was that out of my joke, or was it at to hear? Huh? Was that live or to hear? I was, I was like, all right, Kev was going on too long with this to hear. <laughs> but I was just there. You go there. not being funny again, Kev. There Ooh. you go not being married again, Meg. Oh, you don't have to worry about me, but I'm good. Okay, Meg musty. That's what she is. <laughs> No, don't sit here and do that to me. Don't do that because I do take a shower every single day and I have done extensive research on armpit must. You wear natural deodorant, you're musty. No, I use native. Native is good. You've ever used native? That stuff costs like $12. Native really works. We had native for a podcast ad, so it is absolutely good. No, it does work. That's the only, I'm telling you, I've tried every natural deodorant and that's the only one that I found that actually works. So what? when you natural deodorant, is it, is it the same qualities as, as non-natural deodorant? Is it missing a chemical or something? What makes it? it yeah, it doesn't have a lot of the same, a lot of the chemicals that regular deodorant has. Cause a lot of them, I mean, especially for women can cause breast cancer. You know, they don't want to say that, but I don't see, I, I'm just a firm believer. If you can't, eat it you shouldn't put it on your skin so i try to find as much like natural products can't eat cotton what's what's your point it's on your skin i mean clothing but you can't again like i'm not using the chemicals in my i use like a natural like uh what you call it detergent as well you like deodorant on top of your skin like a shirt I know, but that's why I'm saying I make sure it has the least amount of chemicals, just like my clothing detergent that's in my clothes. You must put some, put some deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You heard all that and just said you must. 
<laughs> and, <laughs> hey, and did wait, wait, so I have to tell y'all this. Did y'all know that? Okay, so while I was doing my research, because I was like, I'm going to just make my own natural deodorant that works. I learned most of us only have like one stinky armpit or one that's way worse than the other. Did y'all know that? Really? Yeah, really I was, but you know, when I, when I thought about it, I was like, okay, I'm right-handed. Usually it's your dominant arm. And true enough, my dom- my left far. one never, it never has a stench. My right one, oh, if I'm stressing, oh, I, knew it. I knew it. I knew it. No, you said the right, <laughs> the, right, the right arm be musty? No, I think, it, I think it has to do with like your, whatever's dominant, like the way your brain works. I don't know. It's something about your dominant side. Which wow. side do y'all check? When y'all do the facility check, which side do you naturally I always check? check my left. I always right. check my left side. I always do my right. right. I'm trying to why, No, I'm saying watch and see. It seems like your whatever your dominant side is, usually that's the stinkier armpit. And mm-hmm. if you stress and you have like stress sweat, that's like the easiest way to tell. Sniff, sniff both and you'll be able to see which one is why, yours. Whenever I sniff both, I'm not comparing them to each other. I'm just saying if I stink or not. But now I'm going to do that. I feel yeah. like, oh, now that you know, try it. Because oh. once I learned that, I was like, oh my gosh, this is true. That's going to be a BuzzFeed video. Watch. It's going to be like, what is your musty side? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, so let's- the worst part of uh like middle school when you were still learning yourself and you got caught in the middle of the day and like man, who, it was you and you're just like oh no i don't oh my god and that fear of somebody being like yo who musty what year i got musty i was in seventh Wait, grade how old were you <laughs> I was in seventh grade okay <laughs> i had an s curl kit and I had the activator in a small bottle with me to make sure my shit stayed moist. I was walking down the highway and I caught a whiff. I was like, what the fuck is that? I didn't have deodorant on me, had never bought any. Only thing I had was that activator. You best believe I went to the bathroom and threw that activator underneath my arm. I was like, maybe it'll just keep it wet so it won't smell bad. Yeah, Why would you put an activator? <laughs> I don't know, man. I didn't have no other. I, I went to the bathroom. Is this major armpit hair like super curly? I went to the bathroom. <laughs> I took those brown paper towels and I wiped it first and I put some activator on the inside of my arm and I put it on the outside of the shirt because it had already come through. At this oh, point, I was like, God. it was halfway of the day. I was like, I just got to salvage the rest of the day. I'm not asking no questions <laughs> in class. <laughs> I'm not raising no arms. I'm not eating lunch. I was like, I just got to be still. Here, what's wrong? Nothing. I, I'm cold. Yeah, I'm not feeling well. I was just shaking. The Listen, back I remember there. I was musty one time in middle school, and I tried to, I had to wash up in the bathroom with hand soap. I was like, this is going out here. That pink oh, soap, it's so, wa- that's why That's why I use the paper towel. I, I got like four paper towels, folded them up, wet it, put that pink soap on there. Somebody <laughs> say, wow. <laughs> To hear well, the only thing that story taught me is that you have been an old man your whole life. Why did you have activator? Because <laughs> <laughs> the S curl kit came with the little thing. It came with the no, little No, why did you even have an S curl kit? Like, what seventh grader was thinking about S curls? I, I had the curls up top, and I had the waves. I had the weight, the curls for the girls, and the waves for the babes. Right? That that was a look. It was the curly box. Oh, to hear you've been on like Medicare your whole life. That's what that <laughs> took me. that activator out of a briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that to hear had to hear had musty trauma. <laughs> you don't want a full I was saying hard bottoms. Wait, hey, so hold on. So so what I know this first. Such a funny way to say dress shoes. You over here with hard bottoms. <laughs> Can you picture to hear running to the restroom? We got the people on the clock, 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 clock. Big musty. Big musty. Why you why you why remember you playing though? Yeah, it was me. Like I was catching, I started catching a bus by myself because I was staying, I was going to school in St. Louis, but I was still living in East St. Louis. So I was catching the, the I was catching like four buses and I started playing the bass clarinet in seventh grade. So I'm running at the buses with this bass clarinet. <laughs> this is the long- <laughs> it's just like It's like three and a half feet long. I'm re- <laughs> Backpack that thing look like a brief. So you really did have it a briefcase. Like a rifle briefcase. It's like a briefcase with four rifles. Yeah. yeah. Here. The bus. You look like Will Smith in the pursuit of happiness when he was running with those. <laughs> Stop the bus. It's exactly what it was. It had a kid early. Y'all was in the public restroom. Here was Will Smith. <laughs> in case anybody, in case anybody does not know what the bass clarinet is. <laughs> It is the most old man instrument. 
It's so big. I started with the clarinet in sixth grade, but that's like a starter instrument. So I got good with the clarinet in seventh grade. The, the band teacher gave it to somebody else and he put me on the bass clarinet. He's like, I think you're ready. I was like, I don't want to <laughs> He tried to hype me up. I think you're ready for this thing, man. I can't holler at no girl being like, what you play in the band? You know, I'm on the Blaze clarinet. You hear me? Did you say the Blaze? The Blaze? Ah! The Blaze ah! oh, clarinet. Like Kevin said Blaze, and he was trying to say bass. Looks like he won't be making that joke as confidently. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. man, Kev. You oh, messed up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, here's the thing though. I was in here. Real life though, real life. So I had my son in eighth grade. I'm sorry, ninth grade. I was still playing the bass clarinet at that. I didn't start playing the tenor sax until tenth grade. Yeah, so ninth grade. I was literally, I was still on the bass clarinet. I didn't get my car to like the middle of tenth grade. So I literally would have the bass clarinet. I would have to go up to Belleville, go pick him up and then catch a bus and go back to East St. Louis. So I literally was holding the baby, a backpack, and a bass clarinet, catching buses. To hear you that been old your whole life. When was the last time you was young? <laughs> <laughs> that picture's and even funny. to pick up his son in high school, bro. Are you insane? Yeah, and this is the craziest part. So, <laughs> Barry, first, rem Barry first remembers me from high school, because she went to high school with the girl that said she got pregnant, right? So she remembers me coming up to the high school to meet Liberty to go get the baby and then going back to the bus stop. And she was like, I always knew that girl was lying to you. Tadir, <laughs> you literally are the oldest person I know. You are younger than right. me. You have been a father for a long time. Oh, That's why God, things God. don't be funny to you, bro. You had bills. You had responsibility. Right. You're like, hey, will you go with me to the ninth grade formal? I got to pick my son up from daycare, man. I ain't got time to go. Real talk, bro. I miss, I miss games. I miss dances, all of that. I had to go to work at White Castle. I was leaving school early to get there to do a two to 10 shift and get off and do homework. <laughs> So when they hired uh, Tahir at White Castle, he was like, we can offer you the job, Tahir. Would you like that? Tahir was like, <laughs> he went outside, like. <laughs> he was, he was <laughs> doing this. Hey, I was, low key, I was just thinking, <laughs> I was just thinking about like that. Activated. I was yeah, the person <laughs> had him a dollar. Told me, you remember the person gave Will $100? They gave Tahir $1. He was like. <laughs> I was literally just thinking about the money I was gonna save on food. Like a lot of the times, I was just like, man, I <laughs> here was in the, here was in the pursuit of hungriness. He <laughs> <laughs> was in the bathroom of White Castle with his foot on the door eating. Like, there's somebody in here. <laughs> <laughs> wow, why you, that's here. Why you bullshit? <laughs> You must believe if I worked at White Castle, I'm getting high on my own supply. <laughs> you know, That's believe. I was making, I was making double cheeseburgers. I would put a chicken ring on the top of that bad boy. I was in there wilding out. You know, White like, Castle wow. burgers are always, they're always moist. The bread was always a little wet. Little. They, we cook it on a bed of a bed of onions, but the onions they come out yeah, of it. So the onions come bread of onions. Here, bread. I, of onions. I, said, I said a bed of onions, Tony. I said a bed uh -huh. of onions. You Sit your big hit ass back, okay? Get out of the camera. Sick of you. By the way, Tony, your skin looks amazing. We put it on a bed of onions, all right? But the onions come to the they come to the store in a box dehydrated. So we have to scoop off four big scoops, put it in a bucket, and then put that bucket or put water in that bucket, and then it sits for like six hours. <laughs> Y'all so, had to think working there. Huh? Y'all had Oh, yeah. You, you, listen, White Castle is one of those jobs where you get off your shift and you just head somewhere. You got to go soak in bleach. Man. And then wipe your body down with turpentine. That was the only way to get it in, in college. All I did, I, I worked at the Puyallup Fair in Washington, and all I did was make grilled onions all day for eight hours. Just take a bucket of onions, throw it on the grill, ks, scoop them up, put them on the side. Bro, you talk about big musty. When I opened the car, the car was like, woo, nigga. Man. The car, the car would roll the windows down for itself. It would just be like, yeah. oh. it was trash, bro. I, I literally sat there in the hot summer days making the grilled. Uh, and when you stink, you smell like onions anyway. 
Yeah. Yeah. Right. I was literally making grilled onions, smelling like grilled onions. It was it was. You didn't know what was the must or the onions. I know what you knew it was him. Let's get it going though. Let's let's get this this vote going. Oh, yeah. What say you? Um. Let's see. What's worse? I'm gonna say a smelly roommate. Smelly. Definitely smelly for me. Smelly's horrible. I'm I'm gonna go with uh, cause smell sets the tone. When you come in your house and the first the first thing you do is smell when you walk in. And if it's big musty every time you come home, I'm pissed. <laughs> big musty. I'm going, I'm going to smell is worse. Okay. Kev? Uh smell is way worse. Smell is just ruin your day. Yeah. Meg. Oh yeah, I said smelly. All right, and I say smell as well. So that's a unanimous smelly. Oh, unanimous. Unanimous, you man. You I wanna ask Meg for the eighth time, T? You wanna you ask, what? You wanna ask Meg for the eighth time? You did ask me twice. I did answer twice. You like man. All right. Well, let's 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 get it going to this next topic right after this. Hey, what's up, guys? It's to hear more, and I want to ask you a real question. How are you doing? Seriously, have you guys been feeling overly stressed? Any anxiety? Any chronic pain? Any trouble sleeping at night at least one night out of the week? If you said yes to any or multiple of those, I want to let you know you are not alone. I have not had a decent week's sleep since this quarantine began, okay? Until I found feels, and I can't, I can't begin to express how thankful I am for it. Some of you guys might be asking what is feels? Feels is a premium CBD delivered directly to your doorstep. Feels naturally helps reduce stress, anxiety, pain, and sleeplessness. And again, guys, when I tell you <laughs> the results are amazing, I'm talking about I would go to sleep at maybe like 12 a.m., but I'd be get back up at like 2.30 a.m. I wouldn't be able to go to sleep till like 4 in the morning, but I'm back up at 7, and I could not figure out what the problem was. I just could not turn my brain out. So I was so excited when Phil's reached out to us and said they wanted to get on the show because I was super excited to see the personal experience for myself. All I did was place a few drops of Phil's underneath my tongue, and I felt the difference within minutes. Now, the important thing to remember with CBD is that everybody is different when it comes to dosage and when it comes to how it affects you, okay? So make sure that you give yourself enough time, I suggest a week, to make sure that you find the right parameters and you find the right dosage for you. And for those new to CBD, don't fret. Fields offers a free hotline to help assist you in finding the proper dosage for you so you can experience the best results. Fields works naturally to make you feel better. There's no high, there's no hangover, there's no addiction, okay? The only disservice you will be doing is by not checking it out. Fields has me feeling my very best every day, and it can help you too. Become a member today by going to fields.com slash squad. That's right, F-E-A-L-S dot com slash S-Q-U-A-D-D. Not only that, when you become a member, you'll get 50% off your first order, and you'll get free shipping. That's right. 50% off your first order and free shipping. All you have to do, again, is go to fields.com slash squad. That's F-E-A-L-S dot com slash S-Q-U-A-D-D. Tell them I sent you. Actually, don't tell them that. They, they don't care. They don't actually know who, who I am. All right, y'all. Next up, we have what's better, chicken sandwich versus a burger. Mm. That all the chicken sandwiches in the world versus the the best of the chicken sandwich versus the best of the burger. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that sucks. I'm gonna just jump out the gate. It listen, I love a good chicken sandwich, but this ain't even no competition. Cause let's let's be for real. Like there are like maybe four different styles of chicken sa sandwiches. You get grilled, uh -huh. or fried. That's that's two of them. That's and if it. it is fried, if it is fried, it's usually like something with lettuce, tomatoes, and cheese, and then they might have something with bacon or something but like that's that's about the Wait, of chicken are we talking sandwiches. are we talking about like beef burgers are we talking about any kind of burgers we're, oh, we're yeah. mainly talking about beef but i mean turkey could be substituted for anything too man for the most part because you think about burgers though you got you got a regular cheeseburger you have a barbecue burger 
You got barbecue, burger, barbecue, 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 barbecue. Is it a yeah, w? I want to hear nothing from you today. They're here trained at the school of E40 talking. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Here's the thing, Kev. Yo, here's, the thing. here's the thing, Kev. I like HBCUs and black women. Jesus and Christ had man. dreads, so shake them. I don't <laughs> care about playing on both. Imagine all the Hebrews going do up. <laughs> Imagine all the Hebrews going dumb. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I do, not do, that up. do not do this. I didn't look that up to hear. Like you didn't hear the song. No, I've heard. No, tell me when to go is is a great song. But he every every word he says sounds like there's bubbles in it. So I don't know. <laughs> I, Yo, I, I didn't know after after Jesus Christ had dressed so shake him. I didn't know what else he said either. I got yeah. it. I'm playing on grill and stuff. Imagine all the Hebrews go get him. Yes, and all this girl about. said, E4, this girl on Twitter said E40 raps like jellos falling out of his mouth. If that was so funny. <laughs> it was such a, like, you trip. gotta hurry up and get the words out before it falls. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to catch it. <laughs> but to hear, you said there's only one, there's only two way to make chicken sandwiches. Pretty much all burgers are the, they're all burgers. Are the same. It's just the toppings that, that make it different. Exactly. And every well, topping. Not necessarily. Yeah, well, how? Well, I mean, like, you have more options with burgers. Like, I think, like, with burgers, you can, like, if it's a steak burger, you can get that done. You can still get that cooked differently. You can get that well. You can get a medium well. And the toppings are different. You, you got more toppings and more ways to cook it when it's a but burger versus a chicken you sandwich. you put on a burger that you can't put on a chicken sandwich? No. I've never had a, a mushroom Swiss chicken sandwich. A burger, you can put stuff actually inside of a burger. Like you oh, can mix yeah, it, Tom. You mix it into the meat itself. Like you mix it you in. That with a chicken to the meat. That's true. You That's just got to put stuff on top of it. Yeah, but what? What is uh, that? Or like stuff onions. Like some onions, cheese, oh, yeah. uh, peppers. This yeah. is an easy one for me. This is the easy answer for me. Yeah, no, it's not, Tony, because you can't eat neither one oh, of these. Here we go. Uh, the you know it was coming. You know it was coming from somebody, Tony. Just, <laughs> just turn your video off for this one, Tony. <laughs> yeah, you must be, man. <laughs> That's my Don't ever sit here and say, I will, I, any, I, any time of day, you can do a must check on me. Megan, if we <laughs> catch you slipping one day, you'll never hear You'll never, hear you'll the never catch me slipping because I, I will catch myself first. You Trust. Everybody's musty when they leave the gym, Meg. Even if you took a shower before you you win, you musty. Oh, I mean, I thought you meant like as a normal, like doing nothing. I don't know. Man, you'll never catch me sleeping. Oh, well, I mean, we're not talking about working out. We're talking about being a normal person in everyday life, not working out. I want to set the record straight. I've never smelled Meg musty. Thank but, you. But I've never been musty. Musty, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> From here on out. <laughs> don't do that. I'm okay. not okay with that. I will fight you. Do not put that stigma on me. At must. So you know what stigma is the worst, and I I want to apologize to her. Somebody started the rumor that Sierra was a hermaphrodite, and everybody believed that across I the did. world. I did. Where did it come from? It just was like always permeated in the world, from, like from Tony Baker, because Tony is ahead. He probably was like. <laughs> Is a hermaphrodite, and then everyone, just like you said, Megan is musty now. Everybody's gonna believe that. I hate you, Tony Baker. I, I will say this: Future's music is trash. It's big musty. <laughs> I agree. Music, music is big musty. What? You don't like Future? I at all, Pat. Square up. I know that's your yeah. guy. He ruins everything. Yo, asked, speaking of Tony's text ability, I asked Tony to do that on Popular Opinion. He said, "I don't know," and then asked me another question about something else. <laughs> Because I don't know if I like, you know, I would feel bad if like he was a fan of mine and then I just shredded him up on unpopular opinion. Yeah, you called you like Sierra that? hermaphrodite and everyone in the oh, world believed it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting that rumor about you since you're trying to tell the world I'm musty. I'm telling everybody that you called Sierra hermaphrodite and you started viral without social media. I don't know, Patrick. That's the thing. Everybody, and I thought that was just something that we believed in Washington, but I saw that on Twitter the other day. Somebody was like, whoever started that rumor is trash. And I was like, wait, other people heard that? I thought it was just like everyone all over. That. I, I never believed it, but I remember hearing it. Why was it like in a magazine? Where did that, where did it come from? From Tony Baker. <laughs> <laughs> you must. <laughs> See? 
I don't like ugly Tony. That's what you get. You out here telling the world. That's why God bless Sierra because you try to mess up her life and say she was a hermaphrodite. Yo, Russell Wilson left the white girl and came back home, and I'm so proud to be a Seahawks fan. That's funny, man. His his girlfriend's picture when he got drafted is the worst picture ever. It's the literally. I hate. I was like, it's not. This marriage is not gonna work out. I hate it so much. Like the the what? <laughs> here, don't do it. <laughs> What's funny is that I can see Russell Wilson with a white girl. And the fact that he had Sierra was like, all right, Russell. <laughs> Bro, he got Sierra. He started he started dancing a little bit. He started dressing good. Everything went up, man. His voice got deeper in the background of Sierra's videos and shit. I, I, still, <laughs> I still picture Russell Wilson uh like like being like Braxton off of the Jamie Foxx show. Like, I don't know why, but I just I just still see Braxton that. Braxton P. Hartnerbrig. Yeah. The funniest thing about Russell Wilson is he will beat future up, and that just makes me laugh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's a professional football player and he and Future is tall, but Russell Wilson will break Future in half. Uh, and he's raising his son so calmly. He's teaching him baseball and stuff. Like that would drive me to to you playing catch with my son would drive me crazy. Future has nothing on Russell. You're like, you corny. <laughs> He can't, he can't come to him about money. He can't come to him about fame. None of that. <laughs> you <Bro>. corny. <laughs> That's like, but I got your son. Oh. <laughs> That's, the That's you OG son. Bobby. <laughs> OG Bobby Johnson. He got OG Bobby Johnson's son. <laughs> Hey, this future, this this future slander is 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 tough to is tough to listen. I to. hate future, and I'm gonna tell you why, Pat. I'm gonna tell you the first future song I heard. My boy was like, "Yo, check this out, man. It's future," and it was L O V E L. I was like, "That's not fair. That's not, fair. not even future likes that song. That's not." That was the song. that was my introduction to him. He and did I, that though. He did that, Pat. I can't see Rihanna asking him to do that. He did that. I was like, "Yeah, this is gonna rock." That's my that's my first thing, and then I, I March Madness. I was like, oh okay, I like this. Yeah. And then he said, "Slob on my knob, like corn on the cob," on the on the Black Panther soundtrack, and I've never forgiven for that. Oh man, that that right there. Kendrick floated, and Future was like, "Bro, no, I just, that, I never that right there, that was as big a tragedy for me as Kanye saying sl slavery was a choice. I was like, both <laughs> wow. of them in a box. That no, 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 no. See, yeah, like for me, I feel like you don't respect me as a consumer if you think that you could just pass this along to me and I, I say this is okay. That I always feel like he calling he call everybody that likes him a bitch ass nigga because y'all just took that. Dang, to hear. Right up. Like it's the same, it's the same thing with Takashi. Mm -hmm. Takashi went on the Breakfast Club and he was like, listen to the stuff that I'm saying in my rap. Like I don't know why they yeah. like this shit. Like that to me is saying my consumers are stupid as fuck and they'll take whatever I give them. And for you right. to say, bloody daddy talk. On one of the biggest movies in, in black cinema history and Marvel franchise history, for you to put that on the track and say, y'all going to take it and y'all going to love it, I was like, you got me fucked up. And I would love like, to be there when Kendrick and them opened up the vocals after him and J-Rock. I just imagine him and J-Rock laid their verses first and then Future sent his in late. And they were like, bro, what are you? This is not, we're not even doing that. Come on, I man. I didn't bother them because <laughs> didn't Kendrick finish the verse for him? <laughs> no, really. Though. I would have been like, if, I would have, I, I would have <laughs> like, it was a, it, it, the 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 file was corrupted, bro. We didn't even get, we didn't even get it. <laughs> the file get, was corrupted. I, yeah. No, it was was saying, was like, can, can you imagine them hitting them with that? And they was, they was like, well, what it sound like? He was like, it was something like, la -di -la -di -la. he's like, no, 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 that's it, that's it. <laughs> I've never heard, of, I've never heard a future feature where I'm like, run that future part back. <laughs> Nothing. I don't like uh, him either. I, life is good. A hundred thousand for the cheapest ring on a nigga. Uh, skip. As soon as he come in, I'll be like, skip. Or I'll be like, yeah. Watch Madness. <laughs> mask off. That's it. That that's it. Now, granted, mm -hmm. March Madness is a is a masterpiece. However, Lottie Dottie Die will never make me oh, trust or respect him again. I, I don't respect think, him as I don't a man, but as life... an artist, no, I will never spend money on future ever, mm -hmm. ever mm -hmm. in life. That Everyone right there was just a, a slap in the face. Every it's it's a cheeseburgers or chicken sandwiches. Meg, what you going with? I'm going with chicken sandwiches because cheese, I don't really like burgers. And since I can remember when I was little, I would go to McDonald's and I would always get something chicken based, not Meg, a burger. You musty. Shut up. Tony, what you want? <laughs> 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 
I'm not musty. Stop doing that. Stop hating on us women. You did it to Sierra, and now you're trying to do it to me. I don't, don't put me in that boat. I always uplift women, and I'm not. I'm you not just call me musty. To, I'm not too shy to tell them when they musty, and they need to get their life together. I ain't never been musty to hear. When we, when we uplift women, we pick y'all up by the armpit, and then when we bring y'all back down, <laughs> oh, she was musty. <laughs> well, I, like, I believe in her though. She'd be working hard. And I have not been musty. You never said that about me, Tony. Tony, you are wild, bro. <laughs> Once you pick them up and you be like, yes, girl, you can do anything. Ooh. <laughs> you big musty. <laughs> and that's the reason why you're the one who started the rumor about Sierra being her Maphrodite. It will never yeah. forgive you. It can't will be Tony. never hold up in court. <laughs> I'm going burgers for show. Yeah, I'm right. going burgers too. I, my problem with chicken sandwiches, they be dry sometimes and that just ruins the whole thing. I do burgers sometimes. Yeah. Nah, but chicken sandwiches be dry more than burgers be dry. Yeah. I've had some dry burgers. The McDonald's yeah. regular burger is dry. Hey. <laughs> I'm going burgers to here. Bad, what you going? Chicken sandwiches. There's okay. nothing good. We little. have two chickens, two burgers. What's up to here? Oh, you know, I, I jumped out the gate saying burgers all day, fam, man. Well, the chickens are losers. Yeah. <laughs> losers. Chick, chickens be musty, too. Like, they were just running around flapping all day. Musty. So it makes sense. Cool. It makes Cows sense are musty. Head. It makes sense that men. Cows are very musty. Cows are must, the musty. Cows don't do nothing. Cows, they but stay they out the grass all musty, day. Though. What do you think chickens do? They be strong. Oh, you live in New Mexico. They be having, they have dairy farms out there. You you smell cows from a mile away. Yep. When you, when you drive up That's to cool. San Francisco and pass all them cows, big musty. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, let's, let's move on big to the last and final topic of the day right after this. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tahir Moore. And if you're anything like me, you probably just spent yet another week at home. Another one. However, Adam and Eve want you to know that the best part about staying at home is playing at home. And right now with your downtime, you should head over to adamandeve.com. Why? Why do you ask? Well, I'm going to tell you why, baby. Because right now you can get almost any one item for 50% off. Not only that, when you take advantage of that, you will also get 10 free boredom busting gifts, including six spicy movies, a three-piece bonus kit, and best of all, free shipping, but only when you use our promo code SQUAD. That's S-Q-U-A-D-D. -D. Again, SQUAD at the checkout. Listen, a &E has thousands of products to make you glad that you're staying at home. And sex toys, let me tell you, make being at home very enjoyable. So head on over to adamandeve.com right now. Use the promo code SQUAD at the checkout. S-Q-U-A-D-D. -D, and thank your boy later. Holla! Last topic of the day. We Shut have... Up. What's worse, holding a spider or holding a snake? That's hilarious. <laughs> Yo, first of all, people be holding snakes with uh, fashion and purses and pimp boots and, you know, snake skin cell phone cases. So this should be the easy answer. Yeah. Because they feel no, better. A, I'm talking about a real snake. I'm just telling you, it's holding real. a real snake feels like when you got to hold somebody's hand in church and their hand be clammy and it's just the worst <laughs> feeling. And they'll never be still ever. either. Snakes always, like, even like even if most of their body is being still, there's still a part of them that's just doing this. So, like, if you were like, I just, I don't like, like that at all. Snakes feel fantastic to me. You can, call, you can call me the devil all you want to, but man. <laughs> The whole the snake, they feel right. great. That that I, I've, held, I've held snakes and I held a tarantula, and there's nothing creepier than a spider that's also oh. hairy. No. It is creep. I felt that spider in my hand for two hours after I after I gave it back to the people. Snake, it was cool. You feel powerful holding a snake. A spider is just creepy. Man. I hate how it feels for like a, a spider oh, to God. swap. Uh, the worst. And it's like a little bit. And even if they went fast, you would panic. So fast <laughs> or slow, you <laughs> uncomfortable. But That's wait, true. what's but what's worse between like a tarantula and like a poisonous snake? So like like if you had, I don't know, like a cobra. Like oh, what? Who's holding a cobra? I'm not gonna grab a cobra. 
Well, I'm just saying, I don't. I couldn't think of any other poisonous snakes right off the top, the top of my head, but I'm just saying. Yeah, but it's over, though. Who they handles be sitting up. They be snakes. like, hey, nigga, you, you trying to hold me? They be looking at you in the wall. But they, that's you not fair. Up, they get up there to your eye level, like, hey, grab me if you want to. Like, all right. <laughs> They That's do, like saying bro. holding a brown recluse or holding a cobra. Or, or, the hell's a recluse? That's, That's like the, the, the one they it's do recluse. It recluse. Oh, recluse. A brown That's recluse. It's like when they brown. when they bite you, it'll it'll kill the skin. Your skin will start to like disintegrate and you could die. God damn. Well, that's yeah. not fair. You can't just introduce one of them can kill you. I would say if you you would have to compare a poisonous snake to holding a poisonous spider. And I still so saying like a python versus a tarantula because tarantulas aren't. Hey, uh, Tony, you should know this because you're an animal guy. Tarantulas are poisonous or no? Some, but they're not like deadly like that. Like I a know. brown recluse and a black widow bites are way worse. Yeah. What about pythons? Are pythons poisonous? Slick hair on you though, as a defense mechanism. Who? They really? They can shoot hairs at you and like embed in your skin and stuff like that. Just. Are they sharp? Uh, yeah, but they're not like oh, like glass, but they can get in your skin. Wait, like, what? What? Thing. Which spider is this? Tarantula. Oh wow. Then That's they a defense mechanism. They be like, Phew! and then you get hit with the hairs. You be like, ah, oh, sorry, man, no disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> Do they do they look like hairless after that? They got no hair? No, oh, it's not like their whole body. It's just like a little little weapons, like you know. Like so what's a, what's a what's poisonous what's a poisonous snake? Uh also a lot of viper is poisonous, uh cobras. Um it's all kind of venomous snakes. I still Black Mamba Rattlesnakes. What Black about like a python? Is that that's non? Those, those ones squeeze you, don't they? Yeah, pythons are squeeze. Python, <laughs> pythons, anacondas, they'll they'll squeeze you. So wait, do we have to compare like holding a python versus holding a tarantula? Oh, we were just holding them. I didn't know they. Yeah. Did. Would it be like garden snakes? Can they both be safe? Okay, all right, fine. What Either is way, a nice spider fighting. that don't bite people? That don't cause them to be biting. Biting, no. biting all the time. Spiders bite? Yes. Yes, they bite. The fangs are like some of the scariest things you've ever seen in your life. Because like not only are they sharp, yeah. but they're also hairy. And I don't know why, but that hairy aspect just adds an extra level of fear to it. I, I'm not he said the man with taco meat busting out in front of his shirt. <laughs> busting out the hand though. There are spider bites that are crazy painful and can yeah. kill you. So I still pick a snake because at least you can watch the head and maybe grab the head or something like that. But I'm snake. I'm huh? snake guy. Snake every time. <laughs> I'm a snake out here, man. Listen, I'm a stripper with the snake. <laughs> All day, a snake is way and they're adorable in the face. Oh like, no, they're not. I've Look never heard anybody guy. say a snake is adorable. No. Snakes are attractive. No, they're no, not. No, they bought it like, like you. faces, bro. I'm good, bro. Uh, Spiders are also weird because, like, the part of their body that's actually their body doesn't look not, like it. That, that's because y'all got the same type of head, Tony. That's why yeah, you like... Ball head ass. This is this not like attractive to y'all? Look at this. How did y'all pull up the same exact photo? <laughs> it was the first thing that came up when you type in snake. Man, this is... <laughs> Tony like, hey, girl, what up? That's a, the jet snake of the week. Excuse <laughs> <laughs> me, man. Look at them, man. I don't that's even know what I'm looking at. That's, that that's look like the front of right there. That's of the I'm good. Tony yeah. is Lucifer in human form. I'm, Basically, I'm, I'm spreading that. I didn't spreading. know Tony was sexually attracted to snakes. Wait, what? <laughs> Tony slid in the snake's DMs last night. Slid. Y'all don't think snakes in the face? No, they look sinister. The only like animal that I think is cute was Nala. You missed you miss that joke, uh, Kevin. That's not that cute. One. That's not the word, Tony. That is literally the worst one, Tony. That's even worse than the first snake you put up with the hoodie. He looked, oh, he, like, he looked like he got a hoodie on that's built into his body. <laughs> that's a snake with a hoodie. <laughs> Here, look at the matching outfit. He's like this. He's like, what's up, y'all? <laughs> y'all niggas trying to get killed? What y'all doing over here? Y'all niggas trying to get killed? That is funny. That is a snake with a hoodie. 
<laughs> it's very statuesque, but I would not put cute in the face as the description. But they're, but they're not they're not ugly in the face. You're not like grossed out, throw up. If you look yeah, at the I am. Up the I am. you like, oh. oh yeah. In comparison That's to a spider's face, a snake is way better, way more handsome. They got the two face. big ones in the middle and then they got the little yeah. eyes. It's the extra oh, eyes. Wow. It's the extra That's eyes that make it look very like very monstrous. When you see all the extra eyes, you'll be like, what you need all them eyes for? What's I hate going it. on? They be wet and soulless in the eyes, man. Hell. Well, that looks cute. Look at this tarantula. No. No, Meg. That's literally the worst thing ever. Which one is better? I would rather look at that little face and instead of a cobra yeah, face. Oh, hell face. no, man. Uh, I would look at a snake. Spiders are pretty monster. Uh, I'm good on all that, man. Spider webs are the worst thing ever to walk into. Oh, yeah. yeah, you do be thinking you're getting attacked. Hey, would y'all rather die by a poisonous spider bite or the like anaconda way of getting slowly crushed? Oh, Why God. Why can't I just die like from obesity? Why I gotta be something like. <laughs> you're on your way to that now. So this I, is. So just leave me alone. Let me live my life. Just this is me hypothetical me to hear. And, and, and anaconda <laughs> choking the breath out of you is a way worse way to go to me. Yeah. That's nuts. Because you feel like you should know. be able to get out of that. A spider biting you and then you just like lose functioning is, is that painful. Pain, like, they, they, it depends on what spider it is, that pain will shoot through your whole body and it's like right. a painful death. I've heard there's some painful spider bites out there, yeah, but yeah. There's some super painful snake bites. That's but I would not want to get suffocated by because they squeeze until like your eyeballs will pop out. Like that's oh, how my eyeballs ever popped out, man. Stop, stop it. I'm saying yes, they will. Stop that's how, that's the amount of force. They that's yeah, but they ain't never happen. They ain't never happen. No, that would happen. Yeah. Shut up, Pat. That would you absolutely shut. happen. I and then the snake wraps around off. and looks you in the face while he does it. That's the coldest part. I think spiders are way creepier though because they they can be in your house. They in your house in your crib and your garage. Do the same thing. What you think? You ain't never no, lived in the south. No house you, like that you never hear. lived in a hot southern in state. Australia. Right? In Australia. They, you know, Florida. Florida is a different Georgia. Place. I have snakes out in the front of my house. It's like no. They can be on a plane too. Oh, Sam Jackson told me. <laughs> hey, you're not gonna be doing laundry. And it's gonna be a snake in the corner of the laundry room. Yes, sir. That's a hundred percent. Depends on where you at, Tony. Yeah, um, in Georgia, uh, absolutely. The probability of the two though is way higher that you have a spider in your house than a snake. Spiders are everywhere in on the world. They're everywhere right now. There's seven spiders in your crib right now. You get one <laughs> snake every six months. I don't like spiders either. I don't want to do this topic anymore. You ever wake up with a spider bite? You be like, where this nigga come from? <laughs> Exactly. Oh, you didn't even know the spider know it went down. You don't even know what a brown recluse looks like. Yeah. Like ghost. Every time, every time it's time to take a picture of brown recluse, be like, bye, nigga. Girl, he <laughs> out of here. That's what they call him that. He like peace, man. Nah. Brown recluse got he got warrants. He got he old oh, child support. He's like, I can't be in no cameras. Are you crazy? Bro on the run. Bro on the run. Instagram page got one post and it's a blackout. That's it. <laughs> All he got on his whole page. Brown right, recluse. Let's tally it up then. What we going with? Tony, what you going with? Oh, I'm going with snake all day, man. I can hold them, love them, sleep in them. Oh, well, no, the, I think the, the question was, what's worse? Oh, what's worse? Oh, yeah, spider. Holding a snake or holding a spider? Pat, remember we did that show? I could barely hold that thing, man. I was like, what, the spider? Yeah, I had to pump myself up for that. Oh, Damn. yeah, you were good with the snakes. Snakes, I was just like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, <laughs> behind the, the back. <laughs> I was doing all of that. It was glow stick. <laughs> <laughs> I am not Indiana Jones when it comes to snakes. Yeah. I've never been scared of snakes. I don't get everybody's fear. I don't like them. They're disgusting. They feel so gross when they crawl on you and they wrap around your arm. Ugh. You feel gross, man. <laughs> I do, because again, it feels like holding that clammy hand of somebody next to you in church. That is what it feels like, though. They Ugh. just like clammy hands. Oh, they don't. I, I cannot stand holding oh, clammy don't. hands. I'd be so grossed out. Oh, they don't. Like somebody just did this and they're like, we're going to pray. And they're like, okay. And they're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, what you going with? What's worse? The snake well, or the spider? Spiders all day. I hate spiders. Always have. I, I wouldn't care if they all went extinct. I actually hope. Hold on now, Pat. We need them. Do we? Yes. Don't they, they eat spiders? They eat so many insects that get on our nerves. We need them. We would get overrun. Then why do they eat us? Really? They would eat us if they were big enough. Do they kill mosquitoes? Yes. Whatever falls into their little trap. They eat it all, baby boy. Well, what about you, Meg? What's worse? 
I don't want to play today. <laughs> so our choice is either more spiders or hold, more bugs. No, hold, hold a spider or hold a snake. No, no, I'm talking about what Tony said. If there's no spiders, we just have even more bugs than we have. Yeah. We would get overrun because spiders consume so many insects all the time. It's just we would be overrun. See, by I wouldn't care if they didn't consume me in my sleep. They're not gonna. They're not gonna eat you, man. Hey, I've waking up with many a spider. Like, hey, this thing is musty. I'm not even hungry anymore. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> Kevin. You don't like HBCUs. Oh, don't start with that. Okay, snap, Kev. Is this real? Spider's he's like no. He doesn't oh, like HBCUs. Oh man, he's got a vendetta against him. <laughs> yep. so you started this whole lie. He don't <laughs> like black people, so he don't like the colleges for black people. I told my sons if they go to HBCU, I'll pay for their college. If they don't, they're on the yeah, own. yeah, 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 yeah. You call them black. No, he told them the opposite. Wow. Uh, okay. What's your answer? Ah, oh, holding a spider. No, hold holding a spider. Yeah, is worse. Ugh. I would go with holding a spider too. Kev, what about you? Holding a spider is way worse. I actually hold snakes all the time. When I go traveling, people be having snakes. Like, you want to take a picture? I'll be like, mm-hmm. <laughs> Five bucks? I think it's cool. I would not do that with a spider. No. Nah. Yeah. You don't never see nobody outside just walking they, they, their tarantula anyway. No, like, nah, man. You see a guy holding a spider? That guy's cool, man. He's fearless. You guys see a guy holding a spider? You're like, this guy's insane. I, a bunch of spiders on him. It's like, Ugh, get away. I'm paying for this. <laughs> All right, well, that's another unanimous right there. It looks like the spiders are taking it home because uh, they are creepy as hell. Uh, that's been another episode of Squadcast Versus. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please continue to send your suggestions to the inbox on Instagram. And, guys, we will see you next week. Same time, same channel. Peace.